Welcome back to Local 5 Live, everybody. You know, October is National Orthodontic Health Month. Braces and other treatments correct bad bites or teeth that are crooked or they create a nice looking smile, but a healthier mouth overall for a lifetime. Yeah, and Dr. Edward Lynn is here to talk about it with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for inviting me to be on the show today. Absolutely. I love all the props that you've brought because you have colored braces too. Yes. And my daughter is actually like, Mom, I kind of want braces. I'm like, okay, let's slow down here. Slow your roll. <laughs> but let's start and talk about what is a great time to get kids checked up if, in case they might need braces or to see if, you know, something more is going wrong than perhaps cavities in their mouth. Uh, well, the American Association of Orthodontists recommends that uh, every child should have an orthodontic screening at the age of seven. Okay. And the reason for that is because there are sometimes growth issues that we need to be aware of. Um, there's also eruption patterns that need to be evaluated, especially uh, in the past orthodontics had been looked as, well, if you have crooked teeth, just pull some teeth. But that's not the way it's done anymore. Okay. We've really have become a little bit more of a non-extraction oriented philosophy. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to pursue that type of treatment, you need to catch things at an early, early sure. age, yeah. But there still are options for adults. If maybe I want to fix my smile. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. All right, let's talk about um, the different kinds of braces that we have because they're, you know, back when I was a kid, it was always the mouthful of silver. Yes, so um, what everybody's typically used to uh, uh, in regards to braces themselves are the, the traditional metal braces. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, we've got lots of different colors. We have about 20 different colors that kids can choose from, even adults too. Most adults, you know, <laughs> they prefer not to, but every once in a while we have one who likes to have fun with things. Sure. Um, in the old days, you know, you, you remember, you, we all, I think we all know Ugly Betty, Betty the TV star? Sure, yeah. Where's the wire sticking out of her mouth? Yeah. You know, that's the way we usually traditionally tied things in. But nowadays we have these really small brackets, and you can actually even see here, we have these little doors that open and close. Oh, yeah. Right there. Uh-huh. And so it makes it more comfortable and easier wow. for us to get the wires in and out for the patient. Okay. okay. Now there's also ceramic braces? Yes. Okay. So this, this would be the next option here would be clear brackets. Ceramic is a porcelain, so it's a glass. Mm -hmm. So it looks very clear and it looks very, very comfortable. It's good. Um, however, there is also another choice because some patients don't want anything at all on the fronts of the teeth. Mm -hmm. And so we also have it's what's called lingual braces. Oh. And these actually go behind the teeth. Oh. Yeah, now this is a technology that's probably been been around since the probably 1990s. Okay. But back then it was very they were very big, uncomfortable. Now they've gotten much smaller. They also have the doors that open and close. Okay. And uh, as a result, nobody can see anything. And these yeah. are actually these are actually really good for all types of cases because we have control with the brackets as well as the wires. Oh, okay. All right, but then I'm certain everybody has heard of Invisalign. Yes. Okay, so this is Invisalign right here. All right. Uh -huh. And Invisalign use, utilizes a series of clear, invisible, basically retainers, okay? okay, like this. Each one is worn for two weeks, all right, and uh, each one has some minor tooth movement in it. And, and you have to wear it about 20 hours a day. You take it out really just when you're eating, when you're flossing, when you're brushing. Okay. All right. And then when you finish one, with one stage, two weeks later, you move on to the next one until you finish up with treatment. Now, this is a really good technology but it does have some limitations, so it's not appropriate for all patients, so the orthodontist needs to decide sure. if it's appropriate or not. And very important to clean, no matter what kind of braces you have. Absolutely, so I brought a bunch of goodies here too. You know, we, we have all this stuff right here to help uh, keep the teeth clean so we don't end up with uh, cavities yeah. or permanent white spots yeah. on teeth. You know, we provide this throughout the course of treatment. This is a travel toothbrush, for example. Yeah. And what you wanna do is you wanna take the toothbrush and you wanna get it underneath the wire brush okay. around the brackets above and below the wire, okay? Um, we also have floss which we provide so that you can actually thread through the area here. Oh, wow. Yep, and snap it through. Oh, okay. Oh, I always wondered how that would work. Uh, yeah. yeah. With right. braces on there, okay. And we have little t brushes too that uh -huh. the kids can keep or the adults can keep in their pockets or bags, getting underneath the wire, making things <laughs> easier too as well. Um, and we also provide the, yeah. the, the at-home toothbrushes, which are designed to work around the brackets. There. Very interesting. Times have certainly changed, yes. haven't they? <laughs> All right. Yes. Thanks, Dr. Lynn. Here's where to go for more information. WDA.org. You can find their quarterly newsletter there, Tongue in Cheek and Teeth Too. You can um, look uh, for more information and find a dentist. You can also head to MouthHealthy.org. We'll be right back.